October 27th. To record Private Passions, Michael Barclay's Radio 3 programme, which I've always liked as a more relaxed and less formulaic Desert Island Discs. Mind you, I've always resisted Private Passions too, if only because my musical appreciation is so adolescent and tied to memory, with no specialised musical knowledge to it. Sorry, it's so laborious. <laughs> So, Alan, this is Michael Barclay, who I think you've met before. Oh, we met, oh, oh, we've seen we, we met at Downing Street. That was a good line. Where else? <laughs> Alan Bennett really needs no introduction. We all think we know him. He's the much-loved playwright and diarist who's been entertaining and moving us since Beyond the Fringe in 1960. I'm glad to say, though, Alan, that there's one aspect of you that's perhaps rather less known, and that's the importance of music in your life. Well, I always feel if I could have written music, I wouldn't have uh, written plays. But um, some people uh, can write to music. I mean, with music playing, I can't do that. Uh, what I tend to do is write, and then uh, if it's gone well, I then put some music on, and, uh, and even... Um, well, not quite dance about, but but uh, nevertheless, uh, uh, <laughs> unsuppress myself, as it were, through to the music. <laughs> 